How's your head? Fine. Oh, good. Well, better. Oh, Maureen. I don't want to fire people. I don't want to lose control of my life. I, I just want to teach and, and write. I don't want to be chairman. Besides, I'm not mean enough. Well, you don't have to be mean, David. Really. I mean, you'd be teaching and writing. You know, if you were chairman. You're just gonna have to learn how to be a little more assertive with people. I'd be hated. It's not worth it. Well, why would they hate you? Law of the academic jungle. People hate the chairman, okay? The law of the land. Academia. You guys hungry? Hey, let's stop for pizza. No, I want a hamburger at Biddy's. A cheeseburger. And I do not want them to melt the cheese. <laughs> okay, Biddy's. And I'll tell them not to melt the cheese. Well, if they melt the cheese, Daddy will eat it. <laughs> I need food or I'll die by malnutrition. Of malnutrition. Hey, okay, let's do quotes. Oh, come on. Let's play a game I can play for once. Ah, uh, just one quote. I've got one for you, David. Hit me with it. You must laugh at men to avoid, avoid crying for him. Napoleon. Uh, <laughs> yes. What an egghead. <laughs> What's an egghead? <laughs> it's a smart professor. A nerd. I dropped him. What's that, honey? Your bunny? You dropped your bunny? At Biddy's, I want lots of fries and a Coke. The usual for everyone? Yes, please. Rabbit, Do you remember the usual, Dad? Pretty. You're hot still? <laughs> okay, two Bitty Burger Deluxe. Hold the mustard on one. Uh -huh. Cheeseburger, no ketchup, no onions, no mustard. Uh, lots of fries. Two Diet Dr. Peppers, a Coke, and a milk. That's right. Oh, here's your banky. Hold it, hold it. No cheese. No cheese. No chairmanship. No ambition. It's a vagabond from Genesis. And the Lee Dickens. Make room. I'm coming into the back seat now. Oh. Mom, I want humongous fat fries for myself. You do. Well, my precious, your father's going to bring them to you. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Why is it taking so long, Mom? Oh, your daddy will be right out, honey. I'm hot. Mommy, who are they? Here he comes. Look at him. <laughs> Looks like he's mad to me. <laughs> Come on! He not Come on! Drop that nigga chicken Come on! Shit. <laughs> 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 hey, Better hey, run. Here he comes. Oh, you've got your dad with food. Here he is. I'm 
sorry, Barry. You all right? Roll the window up for. Oh, it's Daisy. So, um, maybe we should take it home, David. Well, I saw those two this morning, David, at the Wind Dixie. Mm -hmm. oh, just a couple of rednecks had a few beers. No big deal. Why don't you get in the car and eat? Oh, no, I want to stay outside. You should come out of here. Roll up the window. David. Roll up the window. David, get in the car. David. Help! Well, well, that's a nice car you got here, bud. Oh, we like that. Give him another one. Don't touch my brother. Please want to talk to you, Maureen. I'm going to bring them in. Um, my name is Borelli, Sergeant Borelli. This is Officer Palmer. We'd like to ask you a few questions. I hit 90 out there today. Sure got good air conditioning in this hospital. I'll give them that. Mrs. Deeds? Mrs. Deeds, we've got to ask you a few questions. Maybe we ought to catch up with you first. We've got a good description of the two men. The big one had a baseball cap. You remember that. Don't you? And the uh, bat, that was... But what can you tell us about them? I mean, the truck, what they said to each other. The bat's aluminum, the handle's taped. They and were no after me. They followed me from the Winn-Dixie. David. in the way. The wind Dixie. We'll check it out. Now, is there anything else you can remember? Cow. The big one called the other one Cow. Cow. They're gonna come back for me. We'll 
you'll find them, Mrs. Dietz. That'll be it for today, officer. They won't be coming back, Maureen. See, you did. Good. Uh -huh. We just paid the check, too. Huh? Yeah? yeah? Is it uh, still hot? Warm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you're all wondering why I'm late. Mm -hmm. Just beginning to wonder. Well, mm -hmm. I have been recruiting. How can you Yeah, yeah. Good kid out of Port Charlotte. Wants to play tight end. Yeah. Raise a little low. Uh -huh. But, uh... He was hoping some big Division One school would want to take him. Mm -hmm. But weighing only 185 and with low grades, hey, bad chance. Mm -hmm. But at a small Catholic college like ours, he could make a name for himself. Maybe, you know, beef up a little bit. Named Mendoza. Chico Mendoza. Ever hear of him? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't he the guy who was played for the monkeys? Oh, no, nah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> yeah, he was the same thing. Played on Buffalo Springfield. Nice, no, he's a little English guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's dirty Latin like root bridge and dirty rotten scoundrels. Scoundrels. <laughs> scoundrels. <laughs> Maureen Deeds. Uh, hi. Um, Hello. Franz, Franz Hammer. Do you remember me? Franz Hammer. My wife, Louise, and I were at Peter's that night. I remember. I'm just out from town here for a few days, and uh, we have two little girls right now. Oh, that's nice. I never forget this night. These two guys coming after you, the, the small one with the baseball bat. I think bat. that'll be about enough. Uh, nice weather we've been having lately, don't you think, Mr. Helmer? Hi, I'm Mr. Mike Witherspoon. Hi, uh, I think I'm gonna go back to my table now. Yeah. It's nice seeing you again, Mrs. Deeds. A good idea. Bye. Hey, hey, okay, who wants the last slice? Going once, going twice, gone to the slender, handsome guy in the green T-shirt. I want it. Take a bite. He was there when they killed my father. He was, he's an asshole. He just, he just stood there while some Neanderthal just hit him. Not now. Please, Barry. I think Miss Daisy's ready to call it a night. Barry, you take my car home. Daisy and I will follow with Mike. What did I do? I just told the truth. No, all right, all right. Forget it. Mind if I give you a little friendly advice? As a man who has survived one less than ideal marriage and raised a daughter who's never listened to one word I've ever said, I suggest you uh, let him get it all out. You know, a little crying, a little yelling. Otherwise, someday he may blow his stack. It's good halftime therapy. Why don't you let me decide that one, Coach? Thank you. Well, your carriage awaits, Miss Daisy. Shall I carry you? But I'm too old. <laughs> Princesses are never too old to be carried. You sure you want to get involved with this team, Coach? You kidding? Give me a full season, I'll have this whole franchise turned around. <laughs> I suddenly felt shaken in a way which I've never experienced before. Shakespeare. No, Wild Strawberry. Uh, Something wrong with it. Something wrong with it.
Come, my lady. Ooh. Let me show you to your boudoir. Aha! <gasps> oh, the innocent sleep. <laughs> it's up the ravel sleeve of care. Balm of hurt minds. <laughs> Emma, I'm sorry. I was just uh, your keys on the table. Thanks, honey. Where you been? Oh, we stopped at uh, stopped at Mike's on the way home. How's Daisy? She's tired. She's going to bed. Are there any calls? Uh, some woman. I, I left her name by the phone. Gates? Helen Gates? Gates? I don't know anyone named Gates. Well, I think she's with Salvation Army or something, looking for a donation. She said she was a sergeant. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm coming. There's no parlor room. There's no people. There's just now. Remember me? I'm Helen Palmer. Uh, class is dismissed for the day. Thank you very much. You all did very well. Especially you, Carla. <laughs> Go to the pool, uh, minimum of five laps. I'll see you there in a bit. Thank you, Francine. Your name was Gates. You wore a gray suit. You got a good memory. Mm-hmm. I, I married a cop named Gates, affectionately known as Squeaky, and uh, oh, we're working out a divorce. No woman bonding small talk, huh? You figure I've got bad news. Uh, look, this was Borelli's idea, not mine. Here. <clears throat> Borelli was my partner. You met him in the hospital that day. Well, he died Saturday. And he wanted you to have this. Two years ago, I was leaving work late. Maureen Beats. Oh, I couldn't forget you. Stay away from me. But I got something for you. You were right. They are coming back. Take it. Take it. I didn't want the file. And it looks like I can't walk away from it. Oh, I understand you don't want to think about the past. I, I heard you talking to Carlo LaRue. But Borelli left a note asking me to give you this. Do you know what's in it? 
Well, if you want to know what's in it, read it. Read it. It makes good sense. I mean, there's, there's some nonsense. So what part of it isn't nonsense? Well, Borelli chased a baseball bat. Nothing. I mean, a baseball bat is a baseball bat, right? Borelli went to every store in Florida that carried that bat. You know that guy, Betty, who owns the hot dog stand? Well, he, he said that their license tags were Florida. Did you notice that? Well, Borelli uses his weekends off, his vacations, and, and then his retirement to check every dealer in the state that handled pickups. It's crazy, huh? It's crazy. Well, crazy or not, you know what he found? Nothing. Wrong. Two months ago, he found them. Or at least he found out who they probably are. A big man and a crazy smaller man bought a 1978 Ford pickup in Ocala. This time, Borelli struck gold. Blood. If you want to put it that way. These two men paid cash. And then they left this address in Arcadia. So, Borelli went to Arcadia. A Calvin and Marty Van Bieber had lived there. But they had some run-in with a tavern owner over drugs. And they just took off who knows where. So what you're telling me really is that Borelli was a... Uh, he was, was a bigoted sexist who got drunk on the job and probably would have gotten me killed if he, if he hadn't been drummed out. But you got to him. It happens, and as cops go, Borelli wasn't that bad of a guy. Listen, I've got to go. What do you want me to do with this? Read it. And you do what you think is right. Are you going back to Tampa? No, I'm on vacation. I'm hiding out at the beach. I'm Squeaky, to whom I am still technically married. And a district attorney who turned into Mr. Hyde after two months of living with him. You work out? Probably not as much as I should. But I do run. And I work out a little, you know, to keep in shape. I'd like to meet my children. Maybe you'd um, come by my house. We could go for a run. Okay. You take care of yourself. Finished it? Yeah, yeah, I finished it. Well, I want your opinion. What do you think? I don't know. It seemed like the guy who put all that together was a little nuts, you know? I think I'm probably being charitable. Yeah, but he was right. They killed Dave. Yeah. He was right. He sure was a fanatic. I mean, this guy is cop. What's his name? Borelli. Borelli, right. I mean, did you ever stop to think why he did this? I mean, he really cared about you. The kids and... and what happened to David? Michael, what's the name of that, um, man that you know at Channel 40? Johnny George? What about him? Oh, what you calling for me? 
I want, I want to talk to uh, the television stations, and I want to talk to newspapers, and I want to make some attempt to find Johnny George Jordan. works a sports spot. Well, it's a small station. Small network affiliate station. Oh, well, it's good. Yeah. Do you know anyone at the Herald Tribune? No. But Johnny George, he knows everybody. Good. Michael, will you call him for me? Before I change my mind? Please. Yeah. If Thank that's you. what you want. Mm-hmm. You sure you want to do this? You want to open this all up again? And we know what these guys are capable of. I've been scared for a long time. But I didn't want to face it, and, um... Now's the time. I want to do it. Sometimes maybe it's better to be scared and live longer. The only trouble with that is, is you stay scared. thinking about David, weren't you? It's okay. Quite a lot of us yet uninvestigated information. Um, the police have not led me to believe that they will reopen in a year. Hey. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Martin what the hell are you doing? and Bieber should contact his local law well, how about enforcement we keep that agency. Down the oh, fuck. His murder weapon oh, was a kitchen knife. Tonight, man, it's out. Ain't yeah. no reason to take it from anybody. The world's full of degenerates. Now you got a point there, honey. Well, you and me guess we're talking to Later, Marty. Lady here and I are talking goddamn philosophy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you and me better go home right now. Just a minute. It's for you, Maureen. Oh, oh, I'm flattered. You are? Let's just, uh, just let me get the call and I'll be with you. I'm sorry, I had a running date with her and, um, give her something to drink, all right? Hello? Hello, how are you? Great, Maureen. Hello, 
Hello, who's this? You should let it die. You wanted us? We won't have to show you the dead. Age of chivalry is not dead. You wanted us, honey. We're on our way. Let's see, I guess all I'm gonna need now is a couple packs of them Winston's there behind you. Uh, I can't sell you that beer on Sunday, man. Hey, Not in this county. Got a whole cooler full of that beer back there. You best sell me some of it. Hey, Cal, the man says he can't sell you no beer. Let's just go on down the road, buddy. Hey, man's job is to sell groceries. Ain't that what the sign says? First of all, you don't tell me what my job is. Now, you go down there about three miles down the road in the other county, you get some beer. You get on out of here with all that, now. Hey, you listen to me. You're going to sell me some of that beer. I'm going to take this entire county and put it up your black ass. Yeah, right. Ben, get on out here! Shake your ass! Oh, hey, Ben, better be six of y'all back there. Come on out here, Ben. <laughs> back off! Hey, Marty, <laughs> let's kick some ass. Get your white trash asses out of here! Now! About 15 seconds, cops gonna be all over this place. Hey, who the hell are you trying to kid? One of those cops coming in 15 miles of this place. You just look at the old fart there's got a gun and my boot be so far up your ass, your breath will smell like shoe balls. <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all remember that, you hear? And next time, be nice to customers. <laughs> well, that was worth it, but I truly would have liked to stomp that boy once or twice. You see that old fart with a gun? So you called her? Mm-hmm. What'd she say? Oh, she's dying to see us. Television. Your phone is listed. I mean, any freak could have picked up the phone book or dialed information and called just to give you a scare. Sick. I know it's sick, but it can get sick, let me tell you. I mean, if it was, then why would they reach out and say hi before they came? So what happens if I call the police then? Well, you'll get sympathy. Uh -huh. But not much more. Breathe! Okay. Thank you, Ernie. Can I go now? Or? Sorry. No, it's, it's okay. Right. It's police business. How about turn it down back there, Calvin? I like it. I said turn it down. I'm all the time playing with yourself back there and listening to that noise. I ain't playing with myself and it ain't noise. Don't need to play with myself the way y'all do, Martin. I ain't got no trouble picking up fine ladies. Got no regrets, I gotta pay for it here and there either. Just shut up, man. I'm gonna move your shit, you hear me? Just shut up. I'm frying back here. Let's stop for a beer. Oh, we're gonna hit a station. We'll get some gas. You can have a Dr. Pepper, and that's it. We're on a mission here, Cal. You mind what I'm saying? You hear me? Well, I ain't deaf. Hey, that station right there. Hey, ask Ed what's you on the phone. Oh, she's scared, all right. She's not turning back.
Mom. What? I know I'm not supposed to disturb you when you're working out, That's but... right, honey. She says it's important. Well, tell them I have to call them back later. It's the cop, Helen. Thanks. Hello, Helen. Hey, you okay? Yeah, what's up? Something... Maybe nothing. I'm not sure. You found them. No. Um, do you remember the witness named Franz Halmer? The one you met in the pizza place? Yes, I remember him. Well, Halmer is dead. Dead? Garbage collectors found him in an alley this morning. See, I, I wouldn't have made the connection if, well, if, you know. If what? Well, it could be a coincidence. This place isn't the same as it used to be. We haven't had time to trace all his connections. So... Helen, just please come out and say it. I don't think the TV or papers will make the connection between Halmer and you, but, well... I got him killed. I went on television. I talked to the newspapers. Hey, before you take it on, let the police find out if maybe it was a robbery or, or someone he knew or... Look, I'll find out what I can and get back to you. All right. There's one more thing. Go on. Halmer wasn't here on business. He was staying with another witness, Miss Breen. She was working at Biddy's that night. She was having an affair with Halmer. Really? Susan Breen? She's program director at Channel 62. Now, Helen... What if Susan... Well, she, she's being watched by the police, and, and I pulled a few strings and got myself temporarily deputized. You know, I'll just keep an eye on you both, just in case. They're back. They're back, Helen. Barry, don't give my hard time. This is crazy. Why should we be the ones that are hiding? They should be the ones that are hiding. I know. Look... This wasn't my idea, pal. Your mama's going through kind of a rough time now, so just bear with her, you know? She just wants to see that you're safe. Somebody's got to be with me to protect me in case they come. Who's coming? The carpet cleaners. And Mike's going to take us out for pizza every night. Every night. That's right. Where's come your on. bear, honey? I'm just trying to help. Here's my little bear. Okay. How can I stay with a guy who can out-pig me on pizza? Hey, man, I'm going on a diet. My mother's working it out for me. I'm supposed to eat three fried groupers and a chocolate malt four times a day. Mom. Yeah. Look, Barry, I'm going to keep you all right, okay? I can't just hide. I've got my classes, and I've got to shoot the video tomorrow, and Helen's going to be staying with me. Oh, Here, great. Baby. Maybe this time she'll shoot Ernie, and we'll never get the paper mm -hmm. again. I'm going to see you in about... Uh, Two days. Maybe three. Two. Go with your brother. Come on. You know, I don't know if this is the best idea we ever had. Hmm. Look, I'll call you later, all right? All right. Sure, but you know, when this is over, I think we should sit down and have a serious talk about us in the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if I can go on being the happy teddy bear much longer. Well, I'll give it some serious thought.
Can I help you, ma'am? Um, I have a three o'clock appointment with Susan Green. I'll tell her you're here. Your three o'clock appointment is here, Miss Breen. All right. Um, she'll be done in a second. Thank you. Can I help you, ma'am? Let me catch my fucking breath. Okay. I have an appointment. I'm meeting Clyde Dunnigan. Dunnigan. He works here. He's my cousin. No Dunnigan. Hey, John, what's up? Listen, do you have a Dunnigan working up there? What? No, Dunnigan. All right, thanks anyway. Nothing even close, are you sure? He's my fucking cousin. Well, there's no Dunnigan on the Channel 62 roster. 62? Shit. That asshole at the gas station told me this was Star Cable. Listen, I'll be very happy to tell you the way to the cable office if you hold your voice down, control your language, and step outside. Just fucking forget it. Sorry about that. Mrs. Dietz. Yes. Susan. Hello. You look different. I was just thinking the same about you. Let's go to the cafeteria where we can talk. I've only got a few minutes. Hey, Tony. Oh, about a year ago, I saw that you were taping a show. I came to watch. I stayed in the booth. I, uh, I didn't say hi. I didn't want to remind you of the past. Frank? Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate you taking this time to talk with me. I know you're very busy. I'm not sure how to put this. Um, first, I'm very sorry about what happened to Mr. Homer. I'm sorry, too. Let me clear something up. Franz and I were through years ago. When we met, he was lots of things to me. Older, better educated, good looking guy. He hung around Biddy's, even brought his wife. I was a kid. I haven't been a kid for a long time. I can see that. Friends came down here to get something going. I let him stay overnight, I didn't let him in my bed. That doesn't mean I didn't cry for him when I heard what happened. Oh, it didn't sound that way, Susan. You know, police don't know who killed... Who killed him? Muggers, robbers, whatever they call them. Doesn't really make a difference. Well, it could be the men who killed my husband. They may be looking for the witnesses. Me? You. And me. Any of the others. I know that it might not seem to make sense. But I hope that you can understand my concern. Wait a minute. What you're suggesting is that those two maniacs are coming to kill all the witnesses of the murder? It doesn't make sense. How did they find Franz? Those two weren't exactly think tank material. Oh my God, do you think they saw him coming out of my apartment? Yes, I think they can find you. I don't mean to frighten you, Susan. I believe that the police are watching out for you. But is there a friend that you can stay with for a while? Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Can you come to my place tonight? Uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> come on, you just scared the hell out of me. You've got to come just for some coffee or something. Uh, what time? 8.30? Yeah. All right, I'll be there. Well, you 
Would you mind telling me what the fuck that was all about? Hey, there it is. Yeah, I see it. What the hell are we doing in Tampa, for Christ's sake? Doing memories. Yeah, we're very nostalgic. <laughs> Where are we going now? Get out. Held. You dumping me in this crummy neighborhood? You know what the hell can happen to me here? Who are we? Who are... You're fucking nuts is who you are. <clears throat> hmm? I don't know. We ain't nothing, are we? Huh? huh? You never met us before now, have you? Huh? I never met you guys. That's good. Get on out! Go! Hey, now you just stand there looking lucky. I don't want to see you giving us that finger now. <laughs> Martin here is very sensitive. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get on out! <laughs> I'm truly gonna miss her. I doubt that. the screen. Susan? Get out of here, find the phone, dial 911 and tell them to get here fast. Are you going to be sick? Because if you're going to be sick or, or go nuts on me, get out. I'll call. Hey, anybody home? Grocery man. No. Tried to call you earlier. Well, we were out most of the night. Uh, Hello, Helen. Hi. I'm an orange. Where are my children, Mike? Oh, uh, don't worry. They're at my house watching a video with five linemen. So, how's Susan Breen? Oh, well, she's alive. Comatose. She may not make it. What do the police say? Well, the locals still won't tie to the Van Beepers. I got an appointment. I gotta go. See you later tonight. Mm. Yeah? Where are you going? Oh, well, I've got some business to take care of. Two out of the six witnesses to David's murder have been attacked in the last two days. I don't know. Hey, let me go with you. Wait a minute. No, I started this alone, Mike. Don't bother. She's not listening. You know, you don't have to finish it alone. I want Hold to on, it coach. Alone. Now listen. You have more important things to worry about right now. Huh? What? Well, uh, Maureen said that there were six witnesses to her husband's murder. She was wrong. There were nine. Yeah, she forgot yeah, about herself, yeah, yeah. Barry, and Nancy. They were just kids. Nancy was a baby. Well, you read Borelli's file. The Van Beavers are out there. Don't.
don't expect that to be making very much sense. Roll up the window. Hey, guys, now, guys, no one in trouble. Just please, please don't do that. Nice car you got here, bud. Help! 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 Burnham. I'm sorry that I'm late. Hello, Maureen. Dan Burnham, and don't you give it a thought. Realtors are used to it. And you had a way to come. I gotta tell you that nobody's lived here for almost five years. I have Al Slingo's boy come over every other week, take care of the grass, but for what I pay him, you can't expect the governor's mansion in Tallahassee. No, you can. Shall we take a look? Yes. I believe the interior is going to give you a little bit of a surprise. I left it just the way it was when they left. Marty always liked things real neat. Cal and Marty left all of a sudden about five years back after a little trouble with Bay Williams down to 175 Tavern. They left without leaving any instructions. Let's, uh, let's have a look upstairs. You can check out that living room on the way back. Oh, uh, neighborhood's not what it used to be. No use taking any chances. Should we go? Well, that's James Van Bieber. That's Cal and Marty's grandfather. It's been said he was less than a savory gent. This, um, uh, Cal and, and Marty, they own the house. No, no, I reckon I do, by default. See, Cal and Marty are my first cousins, Mrs. Dietz. I didn't tell you my last name. You didn't have to. I saw you on television. Yeah, we get television even out here. That policeman that you mentioned on the show, that, uh, Borelli, I remember when he came out here. He walked around, just like we done. Cal and Marty's bedroom's right at the top of the stairs, and there's a loft. I've seen enough, thank you. No, I don't think you have. No, I think you ought to see their room. Really? It's not necessary? No, you came out to see the house, Mrs. Dietz. Now, you should see their room. No, Mr. Burnham. I want to show you their room. Uh, Right up here. Marty and Cal's room is right over here. Nobody ever knew why they always slept in the same room when there was when there was two bedrooms. My cousin's rooms. Cal and Marty are my closest living relatives. And I wish to God they were dead. And buried. And burning in hell. I'm sorry, Mr. Pernell. Uh, no reason for you to be sorry. I'm the one that's sorry. Sorry for what they did to your husband. God knows how many others. But you're not responsible for what they did. Ms. Dietz, 
I saw that look in your eyes a few minutes back. You were ready to, to turn and run from me. I was one of them as far as you was concerned. I've had that most of my life in this town. Why didn't you move somewhere else? I'd carry him with me no matter where I go. Know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Miss Dietz, would you join me for lunch at the Paradise before you leave? No, thank you. I really have to get back. Come here. C come on in. You know who I am? I'm not likely to ever forget you or that night, Mrs. Deese. Oh, would you like a Coke, a, a hot dog or something? Mm. Water? Thank you. How are the kids? They're fine. Good. Good. You know, thing like that, kind of stay with a person. Your little boy, I haven't seen a look like that on a child in my life. And, and when I read about you going into the hospital, I just, you mind if I talk about it? No. Well, the thing is, I thought the boy would have to go in too. I'm so glad they came out of it. I came to warn you. I know, I... I know. It was in the papers today. I think I saw those two yesterday. And you know, my eyes don't cooperate as much as they used to, but then there isn't as much I, I want to see. Now, Mr. Homer and Susan Yes, Green... I know, I know. I know. Ooh I hadn't thought about Susie in years until today. You know, she quit right after it happened. I didn't know what happened to her. See, I brought these uh, two back by talking to the media. Yes, I, I suspect so. But figure it this way. If you hadn't, they might be molded in somewhere, live to be old men. You see, they're running scared now. You, uh, you want a gun? No. I run very fast. Yeah. 
Maybe it's time to stop running. Now, you come to warn me, and I appreciate that. But you see, I'm easy for them to find, and they know the way. Hell, I, I'm in here most hours, and I live out back. But I got a shotgun behind that counter, and it makes a big path, so I don't have to see so good. But you know, in a way, I'm hoping to see those two. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm scared. But I'm ready. Here's my number. Mm -hmm. If um, you hear anything, I'll please. call. Thank you, and I'll call you if I hear anything. All right. Now, you take care of yourself. Barbie. <gasps> so what's the reason for the quick draw? Susan? No. No, she's still in a coma. It's cats. Biddy's that night. He's got this, this high rise in St. Pete, and uh, he was home tonight. Somebody came to the front door. They knocked. Uh, the old man opened up. He was practically blind, but he could see some guy standing there with like a bat or a club or something. And the guy stared at him for a few seconds. And then he turned, and he walked away. And so I thought that maybe... Another witness. When are the police finally going to make a connection? I think we got their attention this time. That was about time. Oh, Barry, he, uh... He came home, he's... Yeah? He's really worried about you, Mom. Oh. Well, I'll go talk to him. Um, Helen, I'd really appreciate it if you'd stay here tonight with Barry rather than come to my class with me. Oh, no. No, I'll just call Mike. I don't want you to be alone out there. Okay. Kyle, foot. Look, Cal. Well, excuse the shit out of me, dear Abby. <laughs> Cheap piece of Taiwanese shit needs a piece of wire. Then gonna cut one off that lamp. You just make sure the lamp works when you're done with it now. What the hell'd you do? TV's. <laughs> Best be careful you don't break that expensive piece of shit. Man. <laughs> then you'll have some else to fix now, won't you? Damn. Hey, where's my smoke set anyway, huh? Oh, come on, Cal. How about not getting a little piece of wire and shit all over the floor again? <coughs> Are you 
you happy now? <laughs> Look at here. Well, I got it figured. We gonna get her today. Not today, tomorrow. Either way, she's gonna be ours. Yeah. Maybe we can get that nigger with a knife. Come on now, what I tell you about all that anti-racial shit, huh? We got to give that up. Them times are over with, boy. Look here. Somebody hurts us. Now we just beat the shit out of them regardless of the race, color, or creed. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'd be a lot better if you were at Mike's. How are you? Spent most of your life looking at me like that. I'm not gonna crack up again, honey. And I'm not gonna go away and leave you. I'm gonna be all right. You have to. Let me be a little frightened and, and angry when reasonable. Princess Stacy always says, Mommy loves Bach and Barry loves Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got a real answer a minute ago. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. You? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Do you think about that night a lot? After the last few days, yeah. And you? Some. It never was very clear to me. It's more like something that somebody told me more than something that happened. You know what I mean? You were so young, Max. Maybe it's better that way. Maybe. Did we talk about this when you came home from the hospital, or no, did I make that up? No, you didn't make it up. Yes, we talked about it. Not a lot, but we talked about it. Wanna talk later tonight after class? No. I'll listen. No. Sure. I guess I better get some sleep. If you need me, you know where I'll be. You'll be at the Y. I might be at his house. Please do me a favor. Please. I'll go back to Big Mike's tonight. I just wish you'd give me a chance to help. I just did, sweetheart. I love you.
Ms. Dietz, what are you doing here? Chico canceled your class. All the classes tonight. Air conditioner went out. Really? Um, oh, can we use the pool? Oh, forget about the pool and I'll swim, remember? But I do sweat. Have you got a sauna? Yeah, but there's no one down there and I'm, uh... Oh, Ms. Dietz, you know how to lock up. I do. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Guy. Marty? Oh, yeah, Marty. 
Keep calm, little brother. We got him. Oh, yeah, we got him now. My husband's name was David. A man you killed eight years ago had a name too. It was David! I'm coming up after you. You wanted me? Well, I'm coming. I'll teach you to be careful what you wish for. Freeze! Drop the tire iron. Mo, are you there? Are you all right? I said, kiss the floor. Let me get this straight. Cal Van Bieber is dead, and Helen shot the other one? H how is Helen? Is she hurt? No, she's gonna be all right. She just broke her leg very badly. Damn. Well, well how are you? I'm all right. Um, Michael, they haven't found him yet. Uh, the police think that he's somewhere... You know, we're in the Y around the area, and, um... Well, they've also asked me for Borelli's file. Michael, I don't want to, uh... Be alone until they find him. How are the children? They're good. Listen, I don't have a car. 
Barry took mine to go to the movie with Joe Duggar. And Nancy, she's staying with Mrs. Wilson. So, you'll have to pick me up. Yes. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Somebody left the TV on. Who the hell are you? Hey, wait a minute. Let's talk this over. Uh -uh. All I want to know is where's the bitch? Who, who are you? I said, where's the bitch? Bitch! I got him, Mike. Let's go. Mike? Mike? What the hell? Oh. Hey, honey! How are you? Long time no see, huh? Mike? Well, careful, you boofing. Now, don't step on him. You don't want to hurt him, do you? Me and Cal, we never went looking for any trouble. We weren't looking for no trouble the night your man boned us in front of them people. See, men like me and Cal, oh, we got our pride. You take that away from us. So you kill people. You think you're worth more than other people. That gives you the right to kill. My husband. Susan Breen. Mr. Homer. Gone and kill Kyle. You got witches' eyes, and I mean to close them. I'm done talking to you. You right about that. I remember you. I ain't got no fight with you, old man. You get the hell out of the way. It's between me and her. Never was just between you and the lady. We were all part of it. We're born part of it. Can't let it go. Didn't figure you could. No other way. Been waiting on him since you come to see me yesterday. He said he didn't kill any of the witnesses. Uh, heard that. No. Uh, but who would, would want them dead? I mean. Uh, Yeah, you go ahead. Hey, Mo, where are you going? I'll call the police. How's your head? It's all right. Yeah? This cannot. 
not be happening. It's not. Are we here? Okay. They're dead. But the Van Biebers are dead now. It's over. It's not over. They let my father die. That they could have helped him stop, but but they let him die. That they just stood there while those those two guys beat him to death. You didn't help him. You just went crazy. You just you left me. You left Nancy. I'm sorry. I didn't help him. There wasn't anything that you could do. You were just a child. It's the truth. I read Burley's notes. You left them out and... I know. That was bigger, a lot bigger, it's just, just a little place. <laughs> 